everyone, welcome to episode number 7 of the series of 30 days episode that I've started doing last week. First of all, I'm sorry that it's the same background as, uh, you know, yesterday. Um, but it's night time after work and it's the only good lighting situation that I have at home at the moment. Soon I will have a workshop in which I hope I can um, shoot some videos in, but I'm not too sure about how the acoustic is gonna go in there, so maybe you will see this kitchen a bit more <laughs> in the future. But anyway, uh, it's not about kitchen tonight, it's a video that is gonna be gear related since um, David Owens asked me in the comments what's the best setup, quad setup that I'm flying and why. That's actually a tricky question because I'm sure that everyone thinks they're flying the best quad setup. That's the beauty of FPV, you can completely customize your drone. You always try to get the best you can according you know, to where you live, uh, which parts you can get, your budget. So um, I'm gonna describe the, the best quad setup that I can have at the moment according to you know my resources and my opinion on things. I'm currently flying five inch mini quads only. I used to have three inch in the past. Um, I've never really tried um, anything above five inch. The frames that I'm flying at the moment are uh, Aliens by Impulse RC. And the hardware I've put in there um, is mainly KISS. Um, so KISS V2 flight controller, 32M, 32-bit single ESCs on each arm, and everything is powered by a Wolf PDV. In terms of motors and props, I'm flying the FX Mr. Steel V2s. Um, it's been a while now that I've been flying them. I find them very versatile, um, very smooth, ideal for my freestyle. And uh, I used to fly the HQ V1S 4.5 uh, uh, on them. But since FX has come with their S3 props, um, this is what I've been flying. I've also tried the FX S4, but uh, I'm very happy with uh, the S3 at the moment. Um, they're good for my practice. Um, this is sort of snappy feeling that I need, and we'll see if I need a little bit more thrust in the future. I might switch to the S4, but for the moment, S3 uh, all the way. In terms of camera, I am using Foxeer Falcor on this one, um, and on my other drone I have a Foxeer. Uh, arrow, so one is CCD, one is CMOS. For my flying, um, CMOS CCD doesn't seem to have a big impact, at least for the moment, on my training. So if you're a beginner and you don't really know what type of cameras you, you need to go for, it's uh, it's up to you. Uh, CMOS cameras have a reputation to have a nicer image, especially if you have a nice pair of goggles, you might want to have CMOS. And some people still prefer CCD because they're more connected to the drone, they fly better with a CCD camera. Still in terms of video gears, I'm using um, Unify VTX by TBS, uh, either 5 volt or HV depending on what I had. I used to fly HVs only because I felt safe um, building with HVs because I was like I'm not gonna be able to fry it whatever happens, it can handle battery voltage. Um, I'm slowly switching to 5 volts because I'm gonna soon build an apex and the size of the 5 volt is ideal for an apex frame. So. Uh, yeah, all my HVs are slowly turning into uh, 5 volts. And in terms of antenna, I'm still old school, I have the TBS Triumph. I know there's a new version of it, but for me they've been reliable and strong and that's what I'm looking uh, for when there's something sticking out of my quad that is prone um, to crash a bit more than the rest of uh, the electronics in the frame. And um, as the last component on my quad, I have the TBS uh, Crossfire RX Nano, the old one, not the diversity one. Again, this is what I was saying before, do with what you can and what you have. I had some nanos, I had two nanos in stock, uh, so I haven't bought the diversity one yet, um, even though I'm sure it's better, but I'm not doing uh, long range at all at the moment. I'm training on my normal freestyle, so Crossfire for me, it's purely for the, the speed of communication between my uh, controller and my quad. Um, I used to fly FR Sky protocol, and since I've switched to Crossfire, uh, I think it was two years ago now, um, I felt a lot more connected to my quad and my at the time you could tell that my flying had a little peak. It had improved a little bit because I felt that the quad was reacting faster to my inputs. So to answer why I'm trying this setup, it was just a matter of testing new gear um, at some time in my uh, FPV journey. I used to be on better flight. I've never had anything against better flight. I think it's great when you're a beginner. If you start with better flight, you're gonna learn a lot because you can get into, you know, deep into details when you work with a quad on better flight. It's just a matter of flying different type of firmware and find, finding one that works well for you. For me, I didn't have to look for too long. One day I was able to, to try a, a friend's quad on KISS. 
um, then still sent me his quad that was also on Kiss V1 and I really like the feeling of it compared with Betaflight at the time. I know that Betaflight has improved a lot. This is why I still have one quad on Betaflight to be able to keep up a little bit with it. I think if you can try it, if you have friends who, who fly something different, that's the best way to realize by yourself if it's for you or not. So I don't know if I really answer all the questions. I don't know what you were expecting um, about the best setup. Obviously everyone is biased about what the best setup is gonna be. However, in my opinion, if you try this sort of uh, similar component for, from these brands, you, you will have a good experience if starting FPV now. Um, you shouldn't be disappointed. Everyone's experience is always different. Um, I had a very bad experience with some components, uh, with some brands and other people had the best one. It's always a little bit tricky to recommend components. I used to work retail and I was always very careful when I was advising um, components to people, but usually um, when they were following my advice, uh, they were not unhappy. So I'm pretty confident that if you try this, you, you wouldn't have the worst experience ever in FPV at least. That's pretty much it. Uh, someone asked if I was going to do a, a build video on my channel. I'd like to do an Apex build video for the sole purpose of at least being motivated to build one. I very, very much prefer flying than building, so I always delay uh, the time I need to build a new drone. Uh, I'll do this uh, build video if I have something interesting to say about it, because um, I'm pretty sure Mr. Steele's tutorial is already like all the information you need to know on it and uh, I don't really see uh, what I would bring um, on top of that. The only difference I think in, in terms of electronics from this uh, setup will be that I'm going to use a 4-in-1 uh, KISS ESC. It's going to be my first 4-in-1 ESCs and I'm a little bit um, stressed about it but it seems to work for a lot of people. It's nice to change and test new things you know because everything keeps um, evolving in this hobby and uh, I need to keep up. So let me know in the comments what your perfect setup is because um, the more uh, people share what they have the more beginners may be coming on this channel and reading comments can have a clue at where to start because if you remember when you started you were probably as lost as everyone else. Anyway thanks for watching tonight I'm going to edit this and then quickly go to bed. Tomorrow is another day with another video. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I wish you some happy flying if it's the morning for you now. And yes, I see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye bye.